In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and get going on your drafting uh, square, the drafting S exercise, which is the bottom of the sheet. So, starting out here, once again, we're going to go into SketchUp. I like to go into SK in my, in my Windows menu, get into my app that way. If you've already set up your uh, Choose Template, it should default that way. Um, if you haven't, you can go Choose Template, make sure you're in woodworking inches, and then start using SketchUp. Once we get into SketchUp, right away I always take my camera views and make sure I'm in camera standard views top, and also make sure we're camera parallel projection. That's where we should be. Now, starting out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down a bunch of guidelines uh, that are going to be important in my uh, next step is, is in creation. So coming in right away here, I'm going to make my overall rectangle first. My overall rectangle, the first dimension I have for my green axis, so going into my tape measure tool, clicking with the hook on the green axis, I should see a guideline. If you don't, you can hit the control key to toggle the line, it should bring it in, um, but we're going to let go and we're going to type in 4 space 11 forward slash 16, so 4 and 11 16, enter. So that's 4 and 11 16, right now it looks very small, I'm going to zoom in to make this the majority. Now the next line is the top uh, portion, which is a 3 inch dimension, from my red axis up, 3, enter. So now I have a 4 and 11 16 space by 3 inch space that way. That's how I'm going to start by creating my rectangle. Now, next thing I'm going to start by doing is go right up the left hand side in, uh, from my red axis, and that is 1 and 3 fourths to be at the top of that little notch that's cut out here that goes in the diagonal across there. So up 1 space 3 slash 4, enter. And then the next thing I'm going to do is one and seven, or sorry, one and three eighths. And that's the center of that hole. One space three slash eight. And then I'm going to work across the top of my page right now from the green axis and go the one space seven sixteenths. And then one more that is three inches. Oh, see how that one didn't, I'm going to hit escape once and see if I clicked, misclicked. Yeah, make sure you use the hit, hit the hook there, that, that matters. And this one's going to be three inches. Now, what I have created here, I'm going to fill in, starting off with my rectangle, clicking on the origin, clicking to the opposite intersection we have here. And then I'm going to go to my pencil tool, and I'm going to connect the intersection from there to there. And then I also can go from here here and then I have my one and three fourths that's right there all right so we have everything we should have created so far now the next thing that we need is we need some guidelines um, saying where this middle tooth is this middle tooth actually starts in the middle of our piece so if we go from the green axis we should be able to come over once again hit control that might actually change it but it didn't take escape and I'm gonna go Sorry, wrong tool. Guideline tool. Guideline to the center of my piece that way. Now, for that middle tooth, the smaller portion of the tooth is one-eighth of an inch. So we go half of that. And we're going to do a guideline both ways. So it'll end up making a whole overall one-eighth, but together, or one side's one-sixteenth and the other side's one-sixteenth. So select it. Click move over. One-sixteenth. Enter. And then the same thing from that line the opposite way. one 16th. Enter. Oh, I messed that up somehow. 1 16th. All right. Now I have my tooth um, dimensions for the in uh, the skinny piece. The outside piece though is one half, so I go one fourth, one direction, and one fourth another direction. And now I have the top two portions and the outside portions of that tooth. I just need the distance or the depth of how deep that tooth is, and that is one half of an inch. All right, so now there's my tooth. If I use my pencil tool, I can fill that in by clicking, clicking in the intersection, clicking in the intersection, and then one more click, 
to stop that out. So now we have our tab cut off over there. We have our tab cut off over here. We have our inside dimension there done. All we have left to do is create our two circles. We already have the 1 and 3 eighths portion right here, that center. Um, we need to have another one coming over, and that's the 1 and 7 sixteenth. I may have already put that down. I just want to check here. This is 1 and 9 30 seconds, so that's not right. Um, but I want to come in and go 1 and 7 sixteenths. That's right here. All right, so I already have that set up. So I'm going to hit Escape. And I'm using this inside intersection. If I have too many things going around here, you can delete guidelines that you've already used by just selecting them with the Selection tool and hitting the Delete key. It makes it a little less busy. So just selecting it by clicking it and deleting it. Now, um, I want this 1 and 3 eighths one, and then I also want this 1 and 7 sixteenths, which is the same as that top tab. And that's where we're going to make the radius of 3 fourths. So circle. The circle tool is relatively easy. Click in the middle and slide straight up or straight out. This is very important because it places endpoints on the line where we're going to need them. So don't ever just go into random space. Always slide straight out when you're making a circle or slide straight up. And we are typing in the radius of 3 slash 4, 3 fourths of an inch. And that's our first circle. Over here on the right side, we need our information. Uh, we got to make sure we have the 3 fourths of an inch up and then one and three eighths over from this right hand edge and then we're done. So guideline tool, I come over and I use the three fourths of an inch going up from the red axis and then I come over from the right hand side of my piece and I go in one space three slash eight. Enter. So right now this is the intersection that I should be at and this is a 7 16 inch hole. So coming in here, I come into my piece. Uh, remember, this is the one that's the furthest over. This one's coming from that tab coming down. Once again, you can delete that guideline if it's bothering you now. But this is the intersection where we need it. Straight over, straight up. Either way it works. And we type in 7 16 Now, we have a few things left to do. And that is just to make sure that we have all of our information here. Um, we do. I'm going to select by clicking and drag to the left and delete my guidelines. Click and drag to the left, delete my guidelines on top. And then you can either use the eraser tool to delete by clicking and dragging through on these portions. Or you can use the selection tool and the delete key to delete those out. Lastly, we are going to put all the dimensions down that we have here. I'm going to leave that for another video. All right, so right now make sure we do a file, save as. Make sure you guys are going to your desktop, to your H drive. If you made an eighth grade folder, you can put it in there. If not, uh, save it there. We're going to call this drafting. Leave the SKP, but we're going to call this drafting. And we're going to call it S, is the, relatively to the square. So drafting S, this is that assignment. And save. Thank you for watching this video.